Hi, my name is Shai from SAP Business One product management team. In this video, I will show how to create SAP Business One web client extensions using our new Visual Studio Code wizard. We'll start the wizard by clicking on Ctrl Shift P and selecting the template wizard. Select the SAP Business One web client extension and click Next. In the following step, we will fill some basic information about our extension. This includes our application ID, version, and provider. Now we can choose our module type. In our example, we will show the URL Mashup app. It's a very simple extension in which we can add tiles that lead to a URL we define. The other wizards you see here are packaging wizards of various UI frameworks. Let's select the URL Mashup app and click Next. In the next step, we specify the module name and the number of tiles we want to add. For this demo purpose, we will add two tiles. Just for a demo purpose, we will use the Google search engine as our first tile. We need to set the text that appears on the tile. And then we fill the tile subtitle. We will keep the dimensions of this tile one by one. We will keep the link method existing window. This will make this URL open in an iframe inside our web client. We will set the URL to be the Google search engine. We will keep the UI of the tile to be an icon. If you want to change the default icon, you can click on the icon explorer and select a different one. We'll click Next and move to the second tile setting. We will set this tile to lead to the SAP website. We will fill the tile text and subtitle. We'll keep the one by one tile dimension and select New Window for the tile link method. We'll fill the URL of SAP's website. For this tile, we will set an image. Let's choose local image and browse our local machine and choose the image. In the next step, we will see a summary of our extension. We will keep the package this application radio button on yes, which will automatically package our extension into an MTA file. The project was successfully created. We can see the project structure on the left side of the screen. We can see the MTA package file was created automatically, and we can use it and deploy it in our web client extension manager.